Yeah, I have a new piece of gear and I am really excited about it. If you followed me over on Instagram, uh, you already can kind of tell what this piece of gear is gonna be. Uh, I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below. You can go ahead and check that out. It's been something that's been occupying my mind for a little while and I'm really psyched to get it out on the trail. Let me go get it. So here it is, it's the Salsa Journeyman in 650B. And so I've been really excited about this because the opportunity has come to maybe take my first bike packing trip. I initially got this thing with the idea to kind of get some good exercise. I have my friend Kyle to thank uh, kind of our group for kind of getting more into riding and his channel link is in the description. You may remember him from a Red River Gorge trip we did maybe last year, um, but he's done a lot of cycling, especially downhill mountain biking. He got us all into gravel riding or the potential for gravel riding and what that would mean for some bike packing trips. But bike packing fits nicely into that adventure outdoors themed arena. And I've been having a lot of fun uh, riding the last couple of months, been out to New York, as well as a lot of cycling around town. This is my first, I call it my first big boy bike where but prior to this point, I've always kind of had a Walmart style bike Kind of a very budget bike and so now this is my first gulp big expensive bike purchase and those of you guys who are cyclists right now are laughing because you know that the salsa journeyman is pretty much an entry-level bike and it's not something considered to be a major investment for a lot of people for me it definitely was now i chose the salsa journeyman because it seems like it can do a lot of different things i want to get into some bike packing i want to do some general road riding but that's not the focus but majorly some gravel riding and maybe some touring as well. I wanna give a big shout out to Mike and Isaac for hooking me up with this bad boy back here. They're from Elmore Cycles around the Toledo area. If you have a chance, go check them out. Great shop, they're phenomenal. They helped me majorly because Mike, first of all, for ordering this bike because he knew if he got it into the shop that he would get someone new into bike packing and maybe into the sport. So that was great of him to do that as well as Isaac and Mike for setting up this bad boy behind me tubeless. And so there are no tubes in this sucker right now. And we'll go over some upgrades that I've done on this bike. I haven't done many, but you see, I have some bike packing bags that I'll have to go over at some point. I won't go over them now, but I'll talk about the Revelate uh, gas tank, uh, kind of a, the Maglock bag I've just used generally for riding around town. Put my phone in there, wallet, whatever knickknacks need, headlights, uh, headlamp, um, food as well I can pop in there. It has a magnetic closure which is pretty fancy and it's been fun to have and access while I'm riding. The only other major upgrade you see on the bike right now is the tires and so one of the first things I did is I got rid of the WTB nano tires that I have uh, you know that come stock with the bike and switch it to these WTB byways which are in 650B size like I said um, and they just look really, really sweet in the bike. Let me know if you guys agree. But I wanted to share with you guys this kind of introduction so it's not a huge surprise when I go on my first bike packing trip. And it's something that I hope will be coming up here soon. We just have some tentative plans getting set up and uh, you'll kind of see a, a different perspective and a different style of trip uh, than I usually do. And so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that, kind of change of pace and seeing how that goes. But let me know what you guys think down below. Any of you guys who are here who are watching cyclists, bike riders, I know I said biker last time and people are like, that's leather, that's not Lycra. Um, cyclists, anyone like that who are subscribed, let me know down in the comments what you think. Would you ever consider going on a bike packing trip? Is it something that's on your radar at all? I know REI and a lot of uh, bigger vendors are starting to push that adventure uh, bike niche. And so let me know what you guys think. Thanks as always for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Peace. One of the reasons why it's been a lot of fun getting into this is because it's all new gear. It's kind of, it's just an entirely new niche that I've never explored before. So it's fun trying to find the different manufacturers, cottage vendors, what's considered to be good gear, what's considered to be great gear, and kind of figuring things out. And I said kind of again, son of a gun.